So I have my Hemi gouache set, set up. And right now I'm just gonna use a, actually I think I'm gonna start with a flat brush. Um, so this is like a half inch, it's kind of angled, a flat brush. This is a, a watercolor acrylic brush that you can also use for gouache. And I'm gonna start by making kind of a watery mixture of a really light brown. So I have brown and I'm gonna mix it with a little bit of white to make it even creamier. And I just wanna kind of make a, a face shape for this chimpanzee. And I'm gonna do that by kind of starting with a shape like this. So it's almost flat on the top, and then it's gonna go down to a rounded bottom. So it looks like kind of an upside down triangle, but instead of having nice pointy edges, the edges are really smooth. And I wanna keep I'm using a lot of water on this because you can always build up thicker layers, so I, I want to keep it pretty uh, wet and thin right away. All right, so there's kind of my basic shape here. Uh, while I have this on my brush, I'm also going to draw in some ears. So they're going to start kind of towards the top of my shape here. I want to leave a little bit of space in between. And I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of make this curve shape like this for the ear. Now the nice thing is like if I get, you know, some way over here where I don't want it, um, it's easy to cover. So if uh, you mess up, this is pretty forgiving I found, which is good. Here's my other ear shape. And yeah, if like I make the ears too big or too small, you can kind of go back and tweak as you work. So I'm going to go real watery here. I want to kind of put the rest of the head in. So the head's going to go all the way up to here. And then it's going to be kind of like this furry stuff going on down here. And then it will meet the body. It's kind of down here. So just kind of an indication of where things are. And I may actually put some of this brown kind of in here too, just because the dark hairs um, may not cover every part when I make the hairs. So this will help make it look like there's skin underneath. But you can see I'm using a lot of water. I'm keeping it really light. This is very much like watercolor at this step. And it just kind of gives me a good base for getting started. All right, once I have kind of my main thing drawn here, I'm gonna go ahead and put some of the little details in. So I'm gonna to switch to a, a pointed brush now. I wanna figure out where the eyes go. And I'm gonna make that, again, a pretty watery. I, I have this kind of purpley brown mixture here that I'm gonna use for now. And I'm gonna go ahead and draw the eyes in kind of like right in here. So here's one, here's the other one. So I'm starting with not quite perfect circles. They're a little bit wide. And then we'll go in and add details to those later. Now the eyes, there's kind of a lot of uh, shadow. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some shadow kind of under here where the eyes are and around the eyes. And then the nose, I'm gonna stick some lines kind of right in here for the nose. And then the mouth will be kind of right in here. This is gonna be a, a happy chimp, so we'll give him a happy face. Um, I'm also gonna add some dark lines kind of around here, like so. And then I'm going to add some creases kind of in the ears. So I'm just kind of trying to figure out some of the basic lights and darks of the chimp. And then I'll go in and add kind of some of the details later. So just adding these in, getting those started and I'm going to go ahead and start kind of building up some of the colors now. So 
I'm going to go in with a little bit of a stronger brown. Um, I am going to keep a little bit of white mixed in, but I'm using maybe a little bit less water and um, a little bit more paint. So I want this up here to be kind of a stronger color and kind of under here to be a little bit stronger. And I want kind of under the eyes to be a little bit stronger too. So I'm going to add some lines under the eyes and then just kind of around here to be a little bit stronger as well. Now I want to add kind of an orangey color to the eyes, kind of a warm orangish brown. So I'm going to go ahead and paint those with my thin brush. Maybe add a little bit more red to it here. I will be adding highlights and eyeballs and stuff to those later. I'm going to add a little bit more of my details kind of around the face. Just kind of build up some of these darker colors. All right, I want to go ahead and get some of this real darks on there so I can kind of see what else I need to do. Now, it looks black when I look at a chimp. Um, the hair is super dark, but I don't want to paint with true black. It, it can be kind of dull. So I'm going to mix like a dark, dark blue and a dark, dark purple. I can even use a little bit of black to darken those colors more, but I do want to have a little bit of other colors going on here so that's not just straight black. So I'm going to go ahead and start adding in the really dark fur and whenever you're making animal fur you want to make sure to start where it grows and then work away in the same direction that the fur grows. So we're going to start you know close to the face and then work out from there and as I'm moving my brush out I'm picking it up off of the page so that I get these nice little thin wispy ends just like hair. So I'm really just working my way around that. So I've gone around and added all of the dark um, brush strokes for the hair. And while I still have that on my brush, I want to start getting into some of the darker details. Like around the eyes, I'm going to go ahead and trace around the eyes to make the nice defined eye sockets here. I'm adding a little eyelid too and then going under as well. There should also be a dark circle in the middle. So it looks like the chimp is looking at us. I'm also going to use the dark on the nose and the mouth. So the nose, I'm going to go ahead and add the dark marks right in here inside the nostrils. So those stand out. And then the line of the mouth. Okay, now I'm going to go in and start adding um, some more details to the face. So to do that I'm going to use kind of a creamy brown. So I'm going to add some white to the brown that I've got on my palette over here. I can still use some water. I might warm it up a bit by adding a little bit of my yellow-orange mixture. And I'm going to try to focus on kind of adding some details, some highlights in to define the face a little bit better. Mm 
paying attention to kind of which parts are lighter, which parts might be a little bit darker. think about what I want to do for a background. I do want um, kind of an interesting background instead of just the white. So I'm kind of thinking about some different background options. I do want to kind of darken some of the areas too. So I added the lights and I'm going to kind of go back in and make sure my darks are nice and dark. Just using kind of a brown purple mixture to make sure that I get some of the shaded parts, especially like right around the eyes to be nice and dark. So it's really just kind of playing around until you get something that works for you. Going back in with the lights, the darks. That's the, the nice thing about gouache is to compare to watercolor. For watercolor, you have to do the lights and preserve those lights. Where this, you can kind of play around with both and go back and forth between the two. So that's kind of what I'm enjoying about gouache. I've got some lines here I'm going to throw in. So yeah, I'm also going to add some highlights um, in the eyes so that it makes them kind of pop a little bit more. So I'm going in with my white, just using the real tip of my brush and adding some white highlights in there. That really makes those eyes come alive. As I'm applying more gouache to my picture here, I'm not um, wetting it down with water as much because I want it to be a little bit more thick, more opaque. So there's a little highlights. I'm going to do a little highlight on the nose here and then maybe a little bit along the upper lip, the tops of the ears. All right, now I want kind of a fun background. Let's see, maybe a really bright green because the chimpanzee, of course, would be hanging out in the trees and the vines and stuff. So I'm just going to take my larger brush and go into one of my real bright greens and see how that looks in a background. I need to be careful by the hair here so that I don't go right over it and if I do I can always go back in with my dark color and kind of fix the hair get it back where I wanted it so I'm going to go ahead and fill around my chimp with the green give it nice vibrant background careful by the little hairs. If you wanted to, you could have done the background earlier so that you can just paint the hairs on top of the background. That probably works well if you've got like a lighter background and darker hairs. Either way, it's okay even if I have a little bit of white kind of showing because it maybe will look like a little bit of a highlight too. So yeah, I'm having fun playing with these paints there really a nice mix of, of all the different mediums. Um, I, I like them for different reasons with the watercolors there. You know, you can wet them down just like the watercolor paint and add washes, but I like that they dry fast like acrylics and you can um, put like the light colors over the dark and yeah, so it's just been a lot of fun playing around. Well, there you have it the chimp masterpiece. So I hope you enjoyed watching this and that um, my first attempts here at gouache are something that you can learn from as well. I'm definitely enjoying playing around with this medium and hope to make lots more art using these paints. 